Hi everyone, my name's Scott. Welcome to Planes, Trains, Everything and welcome to Verona in Italy. Today we're going to be catching one of Italy's fastest trains, which reaches 300 km an hour and operates between Bologna and Florence. Now we're here in Verona at the moment, which means we have to catch one of Italy's slowest trains, one of the regional services from here down to Bologna. So there's two trains for the price of one on this video. Right, let's get into this rather busy station and find out where our train's leaving from. Right, let's have a look here. Platform 12. Okay, I might have been exaggerating when I said this was the slowest train in Italy. The journey is one and a half hours to Bologna, uh, but there are 10 intermediate stops, so it's definitely not an express, that's for sure. Change of platform. Jeez. Oh. I had a bad feeling about that. Oh well. So having waited an hour, I'm guessing the next train's in an hour. Well guys, I gave myself 1 hour and 20 minutes connection time between this train and the onward train at Bologna through to Florence. If this was 1 hour later, Inferior should arrive 1 hour later, giving me 20 minutes connection time. I must catch this train. The very nice lady in very broken English told me at the ticket desk that this ticket is fully flexible, can be used on any regional train. So it's okay for the 1326. So as long as it's on time, I still have 20 minutes connection time at Bologna. I'm not going to go up to the platform until the very last moment, just in case Italian State Railways try to do the old platform switcheroo on me again. Oh, that was a close one. This experience here has reminded me of the last time I travelled on Italian railways. I think it was 2014. I just hiked through the Austrian Alps and I ended up at Brenner Pass on the Italy-Austria border. And it was another big station like this. Not a great deal happening, very little information and basically you just had to wing it. Same thing here, nothing has changed since 2014. I just need to change my attitude a little bit and be a little bit more laid back regarding train times. Yeah, right, platform 10. Apparently. <laughs> yeah. My policy is I'd rather be 30 minutes early than 30 seconds late. And that's what happened. Informiamo ai viaggiatori che il treno regionale di Roche 3497 di Trenitalia delle ore 13.22 per Venezia Santa Lucia partirà dal binario 11 invece che dal binario 1. The regional train to Bologna, take two. Yeah. 
I was filming into the sun, so I swapped sides. Fifteen minutes. Bologna Centrale is an absolute rabbit warren, built on I think four different levels. Plenty of time. I was starting to think I'd gotten myself lost. A taxi rank inside the station? This journey is only 35 minutes long, so by the time I get on board, find my car, find my seat, it's almost time to get off again. But at least I'm on it. Shall I do my rock and roll test? In 2019, I traveled between Beijing and Shanghai on a Chinese high-speed train. 
It hit 350 kilometers an hour, and that's when I tried the rock and roll test. I used an inverted water bottle and a two euro coin just to see how much rock and roll there was on board the train. I use that journey as a benchmark to see if any other high-speed trains can come close to China. This was quite a bumpy ride. Top speed recorded was just 247 kilometers an hour. A large part of this journey was inside a tunnel, the Apennine Base Tunnel. It's 11.5 miles or 18.5 kilometers long and is currently the 16th longest tunnel in the world. I'm happy to report the Wi-Fi works well even inside tunnels. If you need a snack on a towel, you help yourself. <laughs> and here we are in Florence. I was just thinking about the first part of this journey when I was at the ticket office at Verona. When I told her that the platform number had changed from 12 to 1, she didn't look overly surprised, as if this happens quite a lot. To be honest, I was on the, uh, I was listening out for any announcements. And my, my Italian is pretty rusty at the best of times. But I do know Dodici is 12, and we're on platform 12, and I was listening out in case there was an announcement to go from platform 12 to another platform. Didn't hear one. So, um... I won't put all the blame on them. There could have been an announcement in Italian. I just didn't hear it. So what did I think of Italo? Really nice, uh, quite basic. It is a low cost operation. The highest speed they got, I'm sorry about the train here. Um, the highest speed they got was, what a racket. Yeah, the, the highest speed they got was 247 kilometers an hour. So I tried the old rock and roll test and it failed. If the Chinese can do it at 350 kilometers an hour, it shows you that the Italians still have some way to go. The misconnection at Bologna, if it had happened, wouldn't have been the end of the world because that journey was only 35 minutes. It would have involved buying a brand new ticket. It wouldn't have been too expensive. It was just really the, uh, the inconvenience. Anyway, we are here at Florence. I'm going to finish this up. Thanks very much for coming with me on this little journey. I've got a few extra grey hairs in amongst all the platinum blonde. But it was fun. And I'm glad you came along with me as well. See you next time.